Hello everyone and welcome back to Igniter Season 2, Episode 2 in my case, where when we last left off we were just starting off the series, and since then I kind of took a bit of a hiatus from the server just to deal with uh, personal things, and in my absence, things have uh, escalated quite quickly in the starter area, because from what I can see, we've got some lovely housing over there, Vid has somehow built a larger contraption for his villager breeder and i think even an iron farm also we have a cake which uh i already took a little nibble of which i think you saw in the thumbnail uh of the last video but uh yeah we've also got um neat freeze building a nice little house neighborhood behind us and i decided to come check it out since we are very close neighbors and oh oh there there's quite a lot of stuff here a uh, lot oh <laughs> okay uh there's a lot more stuff than i was expecting here uh ooh. ooh i need to step up my game because i am i'm lacking oh Ooh, what's that? Is that a frog light? I think that's a frog light. But with that out of the way, uh, I think I need to first sleep and then actually start working on progress for my for my own place. Because while I did build the little starter house as a temporary sort of living arrangement, I can see everyone's kind of built theirs to last a little a little longer than I was anticipating. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to completely rework the system and make a nice proper living arrangement that I would be proud to call home uh, right after I uh, escape the mobs. Well, it's not 100% done, but I think I've got a pretty good handle on what we've got so far. So welcome to the farm where, ooh, where we look. To have a little intruder. Go away. There we are. But yep, nope. This is going to be our new starter farm. We've got our nice little house here. We've got some storage here, which I'm going to convert into something or another. We've got ourselves a nice little stable with some upstairs storage that I'll be working on. And also we have a quick little mine shaft that goes down below. So we are all set in our little starter base. So I say we're all set. But we are sorely lacking in materials because I am going to take a quick look to see. While we do enjoy our nice little build here, I want to see what the other igniters have been building. Because we know what Neat Freeze has built. We know what Vid has built. But... I don't know what the others have built, so I feel like we need to check it out, and what is that? On first inspection, I believe it is a giant log. And I... I don't know who decided to build a giant log, but it looks... It's a... It's a... Ooh. Yeah, this is a this is a big log. Uh any indication on whose this is? Uh This might be stylish, maybe. Maybe? Is it stylish? Yeah, it's stylish. Okay. Well, uh he's certainly got a big log ahead of him. So uh No idea what that's gonna be. Ooh. This looks homely. This probably is, um... Total. This total space? I think it's total space. Uh, what does this say? Scary death hole. Well, it's filled with water, so it's not as scary as it could be. But... Ooh, are these the new mangrove saplings? Makes them look like... Oh, oh they're supposed to be giant... Uh, beetroots. Nice. But, let's see. So this is... I 
just got a lag spike for some reason. But no, if this is totals, then I, if I recall, on the other side here, there's going to be our friend uh, Monty. So I think I've actually stumbled upon Amber's base, which is quite surprising because if I recall... This was supposed to be, um, this was supposed to be where I saw Monty. So, whose base is this? Oh, mailbox. This will probably tell me. This is... Thaddeus. Is Thaddeus. Really? Huh. Lord Thaddeus' Tempire. Tempire. Hmm... A temporary empire. Interesting. Well, he certainly has a nice little aesthetic going on. Let's kill the glow squid. A villager. Llamas. Tempire. That... That gives me a bit of an idea. Ooh. This is not my boat. So I do have plans to use this as the majority of my base, and I actually need to start planting my fields because we are kind of low on food stocks. Food stores, not food stocks. But, um, no, we're actually very low on most materials, but seeing Thaddeus's Tempire, it has inspired me to actually start planning... Hmm... So my original plan was to set up a trade empire, but honestly, if I remember correctly, I never finished my Colosseum, and also, I never got to uh, finish my village, well not my village, but my town. So I'm thinking, I think we are actually due for a little bit of... So I just had a thought. While we are... So I just had a bit of a thought. While we are trying to actually build a... Not so much a temporary base, but a... So Thaddeus has kind of given me an idea, because while we do plan to build a large trade empire, I actually realized I never actually finished building my Roman village season one, nor did I actually get to finish the Colosseum. So that is actually something we still need to finish. So what I'm thinking is that this time... Instead of focusing on building a trade empire, we just straight up build an empire. Because what's a better source of trade than the actual kingdom trade will be flowing through? So that, that sounds like a brilliant idea, actually, now that I say it aloud. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to build a giant empire and i just need to start getting the rest of the wheat here sorted and planted so we actually have a bit more food supplies but i think afterwards we'll start loading up supplies on a boat and heading out to i guess new lands because while we are going to stay here for the majority i want to start getting resources allocated to a proper place to set up the empire and I need to first figure out where the best place would be. So I came to check out the community farm and I actually found this little guy. Hello. Thank you. Give me a beetroot. Uh, 
need a lot of seeds, and I wonder, is there any actual leftover seeds? What's down here? Ah. Oh, the cactus farm is in full swing. So that's something we all won't have to worry about. But uh, I'm going to take some seeds, because we definitely need a lot of seeds. But I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of community service before I leave, though. Now this looks like a nice little farm. It certainly adds a bit of flavor to the farmhouse we've got built, so... This is going to provide us with plenty of wheat for a while, and with the wheat, we can probably grow some of the cocoa beans we've actually got and actually make some cookies. That's actually something I haven't made in a while, so... Huh. Those weren't there a little while ago. But now, where do I keep my... Ah. Let's see, can we make cookies? They put... I think it's six there. Half and half. Oh, we got plenty of cookies. Cookies for days. So while I do want to explore, there's actually one thing I want to do before we go, and that is actually check out where the shopping district's going to be, because we are going to be setting up shops in this area. But I have not been to this area, and it is a special area because it is actually a mushroom biome right outside of spawn. So it is actually, I'd say, pretty interesting. So I'm actually going to take a quick gander and see what it's all about and see if there's anything built already up there. Well, uh... I can see there's been some progress made on the island already, and, um... I see Vid has already started trying to implement a new Power Incorporated system. So let's see... What's, uh, what's happening here. Okay, what's this? Baby's first Did You Die box. What is this? One box... Who? What is this? Ooh! Oh, this is cool! One per igniter. Oh, this is... This is pretty nice! This is actually... Okay, wait. Silk touch and mending. Okay, those are good enchant... Okay, so... I'm actually going to, since I actually don't have any gear on me, claim this one right here, because why not? So, I think I just gotta, what, break this? And then, oh, nope. And then just, uh, do that, right? Yeah, okay, there we are. And it's raining. Lovely. So, vid, vid coin. What is this? One vid coin costs one diamond. Ooh. That is interesting. Do not push. Do not push, but if you do, no blocks on. I'm gonna press the button. Okay then. So while we've got Vidcoin there and the music button of Doom, what do, what do we got here? Hobble Deep Slate Box, claimed by Odal, okay. And what is this little cute shop? Yummy Delights. Oh. Two diamonds for one stack of. Ooh. Munch on the meats. One stack for two stacks, one diamond for two stacks, healthy greens. Clearance prep. Hmm. Okay then. Nice. Very nice, very nice, I see indeed. And it looks like someone's doing some wood farming and ooh. 
Hello. Free stuff. I don't mind if I do. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And I'll take the shield. Diamond hoe. Who doesn't want one? Yeah, we'll, we'll take some of that. We're, we are... <laughs> we're we're kind of broke right now. But let's see what we've got here. Ooh. You got those. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get my boots on at some point. So overall, it's just a lot of villagers. So I'm actually rather intrigued to see if all of this is just going to be... Ooh. Stone. Use stone. But it looks like this is going to be the villager trading hall. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see how that all works out. But is there anything else built? Um... Ooh, this is actually... Oh, is this the whole... Is this all going to be cobble box? That's a big cobble box. But no, it looks like... Ooh? What is this? What is in here? I don't... Okay, interesting. Don't know... Don't know what this was, but, uh... Looks abandoned. And, ooh, mushrooms! Those little buddies will come in handy later, but... I guess that's all we have for the market district, at least for now. So, uh... I'm gonna have to start working on what I want to import and sell. So that's gonna be... That's going to be something I'm going to have to plan for the future. But it looks like cobble, or at least deep slate cobble, wood, and food are all covered. And vid's weird little gambling cryptocurrency thing. So, anyways, that actually out of the way. It is time to get started on building the empire. And first things first, location. Location and location. So far, I've been trying to find a place to set up our kingdom, our empire, and all I've found so far is a boat. So honestly, I think we're doing pretty well, if there hasn't already been looted, and ooh, it has not been looted. That is a lot of goodies. Lots and lots of goodies right there. Oh no. Ah! Alrighty, alrighty, got some pretty good goodies out of that sunken ship, but what I am most interested in is this very treasure map, which I seem to be actually heading in the right direction. So let's see if we can get ourselves some cool little goodies before we set up a nice place to call home. And it looks like we are heading in the right direction, I want to say. Before we start doing any stumbling upon the treasure, I say we check to see if there's any treasure here, and ooh. Frostwalker Golden Boots. Uh, that is pretty good. Definitely an upgrade from our leather Frostwalking Golden Boots. I just said leather golden boots. Those aren't even a thing. Well, I must admit it is getting dark, but ooh. But I kind of like the looks of this place. Oh! Woo! Okay, we have a... Uh, unwanted visitor. Let's see... Uh, let's see if he can at least give us a gift. Woo! There he is. So I set up a quick little sleepy place here, but it looks like no one's actually... If they've been here, they haven't set it up as a place to set up their base, and I honestly think this has a great base potential. So I'm thinking... Plus it's actually right here on the, with my treasure map, so... It, it, it's, it's destiny. Once I find the treasure, I'm setting up shop in these planes, because... It's got treasure. I like treasure. Treasure is what all good uh, kingdoms need to run. So by that logic, we are set. So yeah. Treasure is going to be mine. Land's going to be mine. Easy as pie. 
And like that, we found the chest. Ooh. More iron, cooked fish, salmon, prismarine, gold, emeralds, and another heart of the sea. All very, very good items, but, uh, let's see. I want to get out of here, though, so I'm going to break you. Then... Okay. So with that, the treasure map is concluded, but honestly, I really, really like the look of this place. Might, uh, might make a nice little kingdom here, add some settlements, maybe make a giant castle on the top of this mountain. I, f I feel like this is going to work out really well. So let's see, I've set up shop here. So where's that chest? There's the chest. We'll plop you right here. And we'll actually make you a double chest because I know we're going to have a lot of supplies we'll need to end up bringing over. But for the moment, this will be a nice a nice place to call home until we actually get a better grasp, grasp, grasp of where we are. Okay. Nice. Treasure has been claimed. Land is ours. I think I might build a castle on that. Actually, no. I'm going to survey my land. So let's get up top and see what we've got to work with in terms of location. So I'm on top of the mountain and it is perfect. We've got all this lovely terrain. We've got that. We've got a nice little lake we can call our own. Didn't mean to break the grass. We can build our kingdom down there. We can probably put the gladiatorial arena somewhere. Maybe over here. Uh, it's just beautiful. We've got our giant castle here, up top, above everything else. Plenty of livestock. Little lackluster on trees, but that can be solved with a couple of farms. Oh, this is going to be a really good place to call home. This this is going to be... This... This is going to be the start of a glorious kingdom. And I suppose we'll start, have to, we'll start having to make alliances and... Ooh! Ooh, what's that? What's that? Is that? Ooh. That's a village. We've got peasants, uh, uh, citizens. We've got citizens for our lands already. This is going to work out really well. I, I'm, I'm loving this. Nice, nice. We've got villagers. Villagers, very good, very good. We don't have to import any from overseas, which is would be probably a hassle. Uh, got some good stuff, good stuff. Seeds to grow, trees to plant. That guy had a hat, what are you? Oh, you're a Fletcher. Not bad, not bad. So, where else do we got? Ooh, we got some stuff in here. Ooh! Oh. 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 Don't know what's going on. Literally had no idea what was going on. Just knew I was being attacked by the uh, mobs. Well, I saw this as I was checking out the village, but didn't have a chance to check it out. This. Ooh. Now this looks pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, this is a cool mountain. Could make it into like an epic sort of dungeon. Maybe like a cool wizard's tower of some kind. I don't have my good pick. Oh well. Looks really cool. Is that emeralds? You've got emeralds and ooh. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Oh. Now that's a lava flow. <laughs> this is a cool place. I I, th I think we found a good place to call home. So I know I just built 
the farm over at the starter base, but we're going to have to start laying claim to our place here. So I'm actually just going to plant some trees, get some supplies growing, and I guess maybe set up sort of a second starter base, but more so just a place where I can work while we build the rest of the base. That way we're not going to have to be constantly running to and from the base bringing supplies. That way we can have at least a place here that we can store supplies and not have to worry about having to jump to and fro. Also, we have a savanna like right next to us, so that's going to be that's going to provide some ex actually some pretty good wood variation. And I see horses on this wall. My kingdom shall rise. Well, creeper holes aside, I think. I think we've got a nice little cabin to call home, away from home. So we'll just start filling it up with supplies we'll gather from our starter base over at the main spawn point. But for now, I think it'll work. Still need to do a few decoration tidbits here and there. But for the most part, I think... I think you can call this a success. Also, I found that our mountain right over there has a valuable resource. So I think... I think we'll start selling some ice on the side. And I don't mean diamonds. But with that, folks, I'm going to wrap up today's Igniter episode here. Actually got a lot more done than I was planning on doing. We have actually found the location for our future mega base. And we've actually got plans in the works for what we're going to do next. So next episode, be prepared because there's going to be a lot of building and hopefully some fighting. If we can get the arena built in time. But with that said, I do want to thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and or night. I don't know what time it is for you. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. As well as the like button to show your support if you've enjoyed the content here thus far. But until then, I have to bid you all adieu.